we're getting that down. Don't worry about it. It'll be, it'll, it'll be there by the end of the night. It's close. It's, it's pretty close it's to down. There. It's getting there. So, JJ. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Another hand for JJ again. Thank you. Something? Thank you. I'm still, I'm still upset they wouldn't let me play in the band with them. I told them I played the stress balls, so they wouldn't even let me do it. Well, we thought about it. We it's thought like, about it. But they couldn't find the part for it. Oh, yeah. Everybody would have been too relaxed, too. I played the stress balls, people. <laughs> so next day. anyway I first met JJ uh, we were doing something down at the enrichment center about, about yes. three years ago yes yeah I was doing lights and sound for uh, their Christmas performance I think it was he was Adam was in it there and JJ was starring yes, and he sir. had those glasses on right Did you have well it wasn't these glasses I actually have a the same kind of glasses for each day of the week <laughs> and so those, I were, those were Thursday night Yeah, that was glasses, a Thursday right? night glasses. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. My, I call them my, my night shades. Yeah. 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 But anyway, met JJ there um, <laughs> shortly after we had just opened the gallery upstairs, and uh, Sarah Barnhart had come in and had asked about uh, just looking for people to do comedy with. And I just met JJ, and so I said, one of y'all get together and, and uh, talk about some possibilities. So tell us about what happened there. Um, well, it was one of those um, awesome timing things because I came here looking for a show and I just missed Sarah and then we ended up hooking up on a later date and we got this whole, we had this whole idea for a show that's, that everybody can come to and enjoy and uh, a little bit of everything that has to do with comedy in the show right now is stand up and improv, but um, it's been w really well Received in a community, and so I'm excited. And really about well that. developed. It's been developed over the past two, yeah, two yeah. and a half years, and it started out as a right. uh, started just doing open mic. But y'all right. were y'all were wanting to do improv right. and put skits and just put a show together. Yeah, and so even in the beginning, you mean it was yeah. a, it was a free show, and yeah, yeah. nobody was and nobody around. Was coming. Like I don't <laughs> even think a, I didn't even hear a cricket. <laughs> Making a noise, it wasn't even like a. Uh, 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 the crickets yeah. didn't even come. We made know? we made some discoveries back then about these free shows because we were doing we were doing a lot of free stuff, and nobody was coming. Yeah, we didn't understand. So we said, well, maybe we should charge three dollars or five or something. Right. Should we charge? I think we might have made a competition out of it. Yeah, we made a competition. People started coming, so we just kept up in the price. Right. And so now it's right. it's, it's getting to where it breaks even. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> The only thing people want free today is like an extra free pizza or yeah, something. If you yeah. buy one, get one free or something like that. That's the only thing. So, so tell me, because I don't know this either completely, your, your background getting into comedy to begin with. Uh, well, my background, I saw um, college wasn't working out for me. <laughs> what? I tried it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> no, but I, I decided I was, I was in school. I was in the, uh, the theater department at Appalachian State. And we had just finished the um, a play, A Lesson Before Dying, by Ernest Gaines. And uh, I play the Reverend Ambrose. And I just going through rehearsals and everything, I just started really getting this love for performing. And I always had this itch to do stand-up and to do acting. So my idea was to go out to LA, do stand-up, and who knows, you know, the acting thing will come around. So I was out there. I ended up, I was going out there for like a week. But when I got there, I realized I forgot to bring money. So that you, apparently, apparently you need money out there. I don't know what it is. But I, was, I ended up staying for a year. I started doing background acting. So I, I got to take part, work on a lot, like a lot of projects. Um, I worked on Malibu's Most Wanted, if you all remember that, with Jamie Kennedy. I worked on Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Uh, I worked on Kings of Queens. I've worked on ER. Which they called me back for ER. I did like I was a paramedic on there twice. So was that after you moved back to town? They called you back. Well, yeah, no, no. I was, I was like, if I go back, I can't make it back. Greyhound, it can't even. <laughs> I did take a Greyhound bus out there too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It was like eighty-seven hours or something like that. <laughs> right, I counted. I counted. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yes. So, so you moved back here when? I, I moved back here. Well, it was. <laughs> I mean, it was a year. I, I think I moved out there like in April of 2003, and I came back like around around like January, February. Okay. Somewhere. So that's about. Yeah. 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 It's all yeah. like a little less than a year, but yeah. 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 For the most part, it was only supposed to be a week. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you're also getting invited to do stand up in other cities around the area. Uh, yeah, the I'll be going to Greenville, North Carolina, on Tuesday to perform there, um, but 
I'm always kind of my I kind of pop up around town. I'll be hosting the um, Oh Say Can You Sing out at Haynes Mall for the Winston Salem Dash National Anthem contest. I'll be hosting that, so I'm I'm excited. So if y'all got voices, come on out and sing, and uh, we'll it'll we'll be like. A lot of fun, you know. Well, you get asked to host a lot of different things too, not ne not necessarily just stand up comedy. Right. Well, see, host. see, that's my secret though. I try to tell tell other comics this. It's like, don't go to open mics. Just get asked to host things. <laughs> then you can you can practice while you're hosting. <laughs> so it, yeah, don't need to make knows. it awkward. If y'all be open mics, so you don't do comedy in front of nobody but like Heinz ketchup and salt and pepper. <laughs> that's usually because that's all that show up. You know. It's, like, man, when did I get here? <laughs> so now, comedy potluck. Then, yes, it's it has developed. It's really got a, a stable base. Of, right. And the comics are wanting to come be a part of it, and the the uh, improv team is really solidified. Right. What do you what do you see as far as the further development of that and where that's headed? I, I well, I see it going. I I'm hoping to have more comics um, contact me and come on and hit the stage that are really passionate about the art and what they're doing and um, just the whole the whole idea of stand up just to spread joy and make people really laugh. Everybody loves to laugh, and you all like to do that. Everybody loves that genuine laugh where you can't stop and you have you almost spit up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't you love that one? And that's what I try to create for people. You know, I want people to like spit up to and throw like, up. You yeah, create throw, the environment to throw right. up. Right, and yeah, yeah, well, yeah. If there if there's vomit, there's comedy. You know yeah, what I mean? Vomit and that's, comedy. So that's, that's how I like we'll it. add that to the upcoming show. Right, we yeah. should, we should, we should. Just put our little <laughs> buckets right by each table. You know? So, but you know, you're and and you would like to see too. I know because uh, that's for some larger names to want to come. Right, through and we've had we've, we've had one. Um, Gerard Carmichael. He's from the Winston Salem area. He went to Glen High School. He's now he's now. Um, He's ranked the number one com new comedian in on the West Coast, so that's that's a huge deal. And he's been right on this stage right here. So um, more people like that. Um, there's a few more I can't get the names. That uh, I can't remember. No, but this last one, uh, a comic from Atlanta wanted to come through, right. stop through, and gave him, uh, had five right. minutes there right. too. But more yeah. and more people are wanting to be a part of it. And this is something that that they started from scratch two and a half years ago, and it's just a, a dream and a desire they had, and they put it together. And that's that's what all of this is all about. Yeah. We didn't even start on a budget either. We just oh, started. started I just started on a sub, bud a light sub budget. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. We drink this bud light and think of what I'm gonna do with my life. This is <laughs> this ain't working out like I thought this. <laughs> but anyway, that's so JJ Johnson, he's really uh, fulfilling dreams here and really helping people out in Thanks. the comedy world and uh That's right. Thank you for being a part thank of this. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. That's right. And, uh, thank you for your bit. Here I come Jay Leno, you know what I mean? Give a hand to JJ Johnson. Thank you.